What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how to do Q output routing with Reason and Serato sample. So I have an instance of Serato already, and this is what it sounds like. Start that at the beginning. And you can see all my chops and whatnot. I have no idea what the sample is, it was just in a folder somewhere so whatever I can't answer that question however I can answer the question about Q outputs so what I want to do is start to route my my samples my chops out so I'm gonna make sure I'm on output right here and I want the sample selected so this is the first chop and I'm gonna route it to channel one and you have up to 16 channels to have each individual pad go to a different output. So I'm gonna put this one on channel one and I'm gonna take this one and put this on channel one. I'm gonna put this one on two. And you can route these however you please. I'm just grouping them by the effects that I want on them. Cool, so now that we're done there, we can uh, put this back on continuous mode gonna close serato for a moment and you know that in order to put effects on a sample you can simply drop it in as an insert but rather than that we're going to route each individual chop as i stated before to its own effect so in this case i'm routing two chops to an effect so i'll have three different effects because i'm sending out to three different outputs that are not the master so i'm gonna create three mixed channels one Gonna hold Command D to duplicate, so now I have three. Gonna name this Effects 1, Effects 2, and Effects 3. Make this color easier on my eyes. Gonna go with dark blue, that's fine as well. Now I can solo this channel to hear the chops, the individual chops that I routed to this channel, which will correspond to mix channel one. Channel one, which is here. Now in order to do that, I'm going to flip this over with tab. I'm going to go to the back of the rack. I'm going to hit the CV programmer drop down, and then we're going to drag the optional outs. We have seven here. So ideally, if we had... 16 different chops we wouldn't be able to get all of them out however i'm only using three at this point so i'm going to check take this to the input so this is going to be the first group of samples this is going to be the second group of samples samples this is going to be the third group of samples so this will consist of the first mixed channel second third now when i play this I'm only going to get that first group of samples that I sent out to channel one. And then it's quiet. Now we can start adding effects. So one of my favorite effects is Futzbox. And that one is made by... Let's go find it. I'll also drop the link in the description. Um, Mick DSP. This comes as a rack extension and a VST, so up to you. And let's go through the effects. Um, yeah, let's go through those ones instead of these. So this is just a simulation type. Rather than that, I'm going to go through the presets for now. That one sounds pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna go with this audition and turn on the lo fi. I'm gonna turn up the bits a bit. Two bits. Just having fun here. 
-hmm. and get something that's completely not even musical after a while or in a short amount of time like you just seen. So that is Futzbox. Let's move on to the next group of samples. Here I'm going to use Serum, the Serum Effects VST. Drag it to this monitor and here we have distortion of flanger. I'm gonna use these two and maybe hyperdimension. I'm gonna turn this back on. Cool. And then this third effect. Let's do let's do decimal. Plus some more too. Cool. Now the next thing here to do would be to match the volumes, but that's how you can get different effects on one sample. As long as there, there are chops in your Serato and you're not just playing a loop, you can also do automation if, you're, if you do have a loop, and that's a whole nother tutorial. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up like me. There I just did a, uh, routed everything to a bus and compressed it. The video is technically over, but if you're still watching, then you saw what happened. Bye for real this time.